Hi everyone, my name is Saqib Munir and you are watching Saqib Global Tech. In these days, everyone needs good Wi-Fi coverage with high internet speed because our new smartphone devices and other smart devices comes with Wi-Fi 6 technology. So today we are going to discuss D-Link Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the starting model of XO Wi-Fi 6 series in D-Link which is AX1500 smart Wi-Fi router. So here is a device. If we talk about the design of this device is like normal other routers, but the unique part of this design is two sided ventilation from top and bottom. So this ventilation helps you to keep your processor cool and give you better performance. This device comes with four gigabyte LAN port and a WAN port with four external non removable antennas with high power amplifier that gives you better coverage. 4 LED lights to understand router working condition. WPS reset and power button on the back side of the device. Feature of this device, it comes with triple core processor and dual band frequency. With the 2.4 GHz frequency, you can get 300 Mbps speed. And with 5 GHz frequency, you can experience up to 1200 Mbps speed. With enhanced parental control, you can create your kids profile and you can manage their access. One of very cool feature is OFDMA. In OFDMA, it combines small packets into a single big packet that so many devices, multiple devices can easily communicate with this router. So FDMA improves efficiency. And also one feature is mentioned on the box is BSS coloring, which increase the range and reduce the interference in noisy Wi-Fi environments. And it also gives you WPA3 security protocol that gives you high security. Before going to start the configuration, you need to understand internet service provider connection type. Most of the cases it's DHCP or dynamic IP and the other is PPPoE connection type. If you have PPPoE connection type, then you need to get the username and password from your internet service provider by calling them. And you have to mention this thing like you are changing the router and you bought it from outside market, not from the service provider. Once you say to them, like they will send you on your registered mobile number that username and password. Once you got that username and password, it's very easy to set up. I will guide you how you can set up your router with DHCP connection type and with PPPoE connection type by the application and also with the web browser. So this part is very important for this video. If you are trying to like configure your router and you bought a router like this or any type of routers like related to these things with your connection type so you can see this video and you can configure multiple brands or multiple brands model with this steps so stay with me for the configuration part so you should have one uh, card like this quick installation card and uh, plug your router into the electricity and put the cable into the van port simply come to app store so this dealing wi-fi application you need to download open application agree uh, allow while using app okay for the notification detecting device select scan the qr code allow the camera simply like this so it's showing power of your modem first you need to power off your modem that is which is provided by your internet service provider next you need to connect to your modem like from lan to van into the internet as shown already next power on your modem next power on your router and we need to wait here the device is now booting up this might take a few minutes so now uh, it's uh, showing 2.4 giga frequency and 5 giga frequency on my router so router is ready for configuration next like next join this is the wi-fi name of this device create your network now we can choose the wi-fi name and password which we require. So I will type here. Okay. Global tech. 
okay and the password okay global tech one two three four five okay next we need to enter or set your device password so this password is required while next time you are trying to enter in the application it could be same or different also it's up to you keep my device up to date automatically yes so this is all your uh, credentials device password wi-fi name wi-fi password if you want you can take the screenshot also of this one save it and now your router will reboot we need to wait to finish this one now it's about to finish dealing by fire yes want to join cloud services if you want to enjoy amazon alexa or the google assistant you can register it now but for now i don't want so i will select note now so our router configuration by the application is done for those internet service provider which is not providing that username and password so we can finish now this is the dashboard of the application it's a actually mesh router so you can add mesh extenders so right now network is one client is one only my mobile device is connected so it's showing internet is connected we can test the internet speed also from here and uh, this is the qr code of my wi-fi name in the menu it's showing that local devices login add a new device in settings visit we done already if you want to change the wi-fi name or password you can change it from here uh, guest wi-fi option is there you can enable it clients how many clients are connected parental control is there you can create a specific uh, kids profile to control their devices management is there you can check the software uh, version device name hardware version and you can also uh, status led light you can also turn on or off if we can go back so this is the dashboard if your internet service provider is not providing you any internet username and password so after setup if it shows like this it's mean you have a pppoe connection type and you need to get one username and password from your internet service provider so once you got that username and password by call them like your service provider and ask them i am changing my router so give me username and password which i can put in new router so once you got that username and password where you can put you need to come in the settings internet you need to change here the connection type from dhcp to pppoe once you select this one you need to enter here username provided by internet service provider and also password then you need to save it once you save it your router will restart and your internet will start working so this is now about to finish it's detecting device because it's restarted so your internet is working with internet service provider username and password we can test internet speed so we will test i have 100 mbps connection speed so let's see how much we will get speed test almost done so i have 100 mbps connection speed here so which i am getting excellent speed 89.9 .9 and uh, upload is 91.8 which is very good so full setup is done with mobile application of uh, dealing wi-fi so all uh, configuration and setup is done 
for model number is dir x1560 by the app now we will see how we can configure by the web page or web browser now we will see how we can configure our wi-fi router with the web browser so simply we need to come here and type here dlink router dot local dot slash uh, this is written uh, at the bottom side of router once we enter it will show you, you the model number hardware version firmware version all these things so it's required admin password so this is also mentioned on label bottom on router so it's password p a w s w o r d enter now this is the visit page so we need to agree terms and condition so next it's detecting internet connection if the connection if your internet service provider is giving you username and password then it will go directly on pppoe otherwise it will go on dhcp so as my internet uh, service provider is not providing any username and password so it's open so that's why it's directly going to uh, the step uh, wi-fi uh, network name so i can select here so okay i will put this password next here is a device admin password so before earlier we entered password on the on the blank so now we can change it it could be anything next next keep my device up to date automatically next this is all the uh, credentials so connection type is dynamic ip dhcp if there is a username and password from internet service provider so here it shows pppoe so next now it's finished it will it will wait and it will reboot then our router will start working by the web browser it's quite easy very simple and for example if you did all this step and still if your internet is not connected it's mean you need to call your service provider and get the username and password and i will show you how you can change the connection type in uh, in web browser so it's safe so now i have to put the new admin password so this is the dashboard uh, let's suppose you are uh, still here is a cross and you are not connected to the internet you need to go in the settings internet you need to hear the connection type pppoe and you have to enter the username and password provided by internet service provider and save it then it will be start working so this was all about the configuration in the dashboard it will be shows like this how much clients you are connected and uh, settings uh, features are there qos engine is there firewall is there port forwarding is there uh, website filter is there static routes or like uh, dynamic dns quick vpn in management you will be get time and schedule system log system admin users upgrade statics all these things you will be get so this is your main dashboard and uh, that's all so guys this was the all configuration and setting if you have any question any doubt you can send on the comment box and i will reply you and thanks for watching this video see you in next video